Hey, hello, how are you? Um, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing oh, great. You're not talking to me, are you? Why would I t but not be talking to you? Oh, I don't know. I thought you were talking to Larry or someone else in the show before the show. The show before the show and a whole lot more. Once again, we just have to... Man, we have to say right. hi to Larry's brother, Crap. His yeah. name's not for Crap. <laughs> Frank, you mean? Is that his brother? I don't know. There's a guy named Frank that, that listens with Larry, unless they work together. So, hey, hey Larry's bro, hey. So, <laughs> hey. Miranda Lambert tickets, we were just talking about this, uh, but... Uh, in case you missed it, Miranda Lambert tickets for our show after the show, not this thing, but after the show. We're going to have you uh, do something special, and you can win tickets to see Miranda April the 12th at the BOK Center. Tickets available, uh, information at canon55.com. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a cool thing for the show after the show podcast. So just go to the Cash and Carry page brought to you by Sky Fitness Wellbeing, and you can check it out. Yeah, and it's going to be like, all you have to do is just listen to it. It's very mm -hmm. simple. Today is going to be a simple day. Hey, your brother's kind of a, a put-together kind of dude, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He was best dressed in high school. Ah, best dressed in high school. So he probably isn't one of these guys here, but a survey says that 30% uh, of grown men let their mothers or wives dress them. Wow, my brother is not that. My brother is, he, he dresses, well, my wife dresses, or my wife, my brother's his wife, wife. His wife. His wife. His wife dresses cute, Katie, but he's like, I mean, he's right there. She has, he has, she has nothing to do with his style? Oh, no. He, like, gets his jeans tailored and... He spins like really, yeah. Is he like? He's like Cool Moe D when it comes odd, to not odd shape, but like his length doesn't. Uh, he's very matches long. Width. So he has, I don't know. Oh, he gets him tailored. Yeah. Wow. I know. Him and he's special. Mm -hmm. Sixty-six percent of men say their wife or partner picks out clothes for them. So not only dresses them, but picks them out. My mom used to do that for my dad yeah. when he'd go on business trips. She'd pick it out. Yeah. I mean, she'd like pack a suitcase. See, I'll pack my own suitcase. I'll ask Tracy. I'm like, okay, so, because I don't have an extensive collection of clothes at home, mm -hmm. and most of them I... You've had since 1990? I was folding underwear last night, boxers, and I'll tell you what, they're... Old? They're, oh my gosh, the Time to throw them pop. away? I've had them for so long, but I can't, I love them. I know, and I, I still haven't worn your shirt you gave me that's like <laughs> super cute, the retro looking one. Why are you talking about underwear, and you're like, I still haven't worn your, I'm like, underwear? <laughs> no. Why do you have my... Why do you have mine? You haven't worn that shirt yet? No, I haven't. Really? I can't find anything to wear. Well, I'll ask. I mean, Tracy, she does supply with me with most any, any shirt. She's done my shopping for the long. I just don't go shopping. If I didn't go shop, if she didn't shop for me, I would not have anything. So thank goodness for her buying those. But I mean, if I, I can go out and bust it out, but since she gets me stuff, I'm cool with that. I'm so not but, a mall person. I hate malls. I would just rather shop online. But I'll ask her, you know, before I get dressed up or anything, hey, does this look okay? And, and usually it's that look of like, I'm like, okay, no. No, she's like, no, it's okay. I'm like, no, I'm not going to wear it because you'll, you won't like it the whole night. So I'll go and I'll, I'll switch. Guy, he, guy here, Steve, his, his wife picks out clothes. Every single morning? And that was part of the deal when, when no, it was. When, uh, it was they, part of their vows. No, it wasn't even part of the vows. It was like the agreement before they got they engaged. They had an agreement? Yeah. So we were going to get married. I'd like to marry you. Would you like, yes. Yeah, so we need to sit down and determine it's a business deal, you know, what I do, what you do, your expectations. And he says, my mom has picked out my clothes my entire life, and, and I will, will expect you to do that. Hey! And she said, okay. If he if that's what he wants in a person, and that's the way he wants to live his life? Well, and, and, and his, and his defense, and both their defenses, I guess, is it's one of those things they talked about before they actually got engaged. Like, okay, I'd like to marry you, but um, this is going to happen, and this is not a, this is not a, a something that, can, that, that is discussed, that, that, that we can make a discussion about. What? <laughs> you know, it will happen. As opposed to getting married wow. and finding out, hey, you need to lay my clothes out. What? That's not part of it. Oh, we got married. No, no. They figured it out beforehand, so that's just brilliant. That kind of is brilliant. Good yeah. job, Steve. For... Steve? Oh, it's Steve. <laughs> He'll admit it. Scott. Steve. Steve is the man. He is the man. Like, big man. 12% of men believe their lack of fashion sense has held them back in life. I agree with that. Really? Yeah. Some guy, sometimes you, well, and my fashion sense obviously is not on well, tact. Well, you have your own fashion sense. Yeah, but I think some guys, like, really just zero. Goose egg. Yeah. Actually, you don't, you just wear jeans and a t-shirt. Or... Yeah, well, that's about fashion right there. They've yeah. Got the, the, that's a good shirt. Sooner's blood See, bath like, shirt if, on. if you really saw this, I don't match today. <laughs> yeah, but you've got the cool t-shirt and the cool jeans. Thanks, man. 12% of guys, 7% of guys have been embarrassed by their clothes. I am embarrassed by my clothes a lot. Because I'm like, I don't think this looks too cool. I don't think this looks good, but it's the best I have, and that's like I do. It's the best I ever had. Yeah, yeah. I heard we have Sarah Evans tickets this week. Is that true? Yeah, Billy we have Curry Sarah tickets. Evans, Billy Currington, and Sesame Street Live. It's amazing, baby. I think we're done. Are we yeah, done? we are. Show for the show.
Hey, don't forget, Miranda Lambert, take a show after the show. Oh, yeah. Cash and Carry page, brought to you by Sky Fitness and Wellbeing. Check it out on Facebook.com slash Cash and Carry. Ready? Pitch it to me. Pitch it to One. me. One. Bam! Oh, you swing and miss that one. Well, I didn't go over your head. <laughs> I didn't want to hit your head. Your head is precious. Okay, you ready? Over. You mean hit your head? Knock your head off? You ready? Yeah. You ready? One, two.